so you can see we have this background image in our main page but whenever we go to any blog we have same image in every blog but instead of this I want to have different image for different blog and if you go to the admin side of our system and you will see we have an option to upload any file so here we are going to upload an image and that image will going to reflect on here okay so let's start this video and welcome back to bitfumes i am your host sarthak and this is a channel where i talk about laravel and the cool thing about laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram so firstly let's see how we are going to use these things so what i will do i will upload a file from here and save this blog and that should reflect on the particular blog for which i am uploading the image so let's see how we can do that so for that let's open our blog in sublime and here what i will do i will just open uh, yeah controller so controller inside app http controller and admin and post controller so what we have to do we have everything inside our post firstly do for update then we will do for create so here is the update and here what we want we want to grab the image so if you go let's just close this app if you go to resources views admin and post then edit for edit firstly you will see we have this image input tag from which we are getting the image so let's first get this thing but you know for uploading any kind of file our form has to have one kind of attribute called ank type okay that should be multi part slash form dash data okay so that's it. okay but we want to grab the image whatever we are giving here where is that yeah here it is okay so let's go to controller and here firstly we have to check whether we have a file or not okay so i will say here if dollar request arrow has file and the file name and file name is image and that should be exactly the name of the tag input tag you can see image is here so image and if it is having an image then return uh, return uh, firstly let's say yes so that we can see we have these things so else return no okay so let's go here and edit anyone choose any file and i have downloaded this file so let's choose that submit and it says yes that means yeah we have this file so we don't need this else part okay so uh, let's just see one thing so i will go here refresh this page and i'm not choosing any file let's submit and you can see we have no so again what we have to do let's just delete that part and now we have to store we have this file and we have to store that file so request arrow image now we can access that file because we have that file image arrow store and we have to store it on the public folder okay so that should be here and this public i have given because our file is going to save on the public folder and that public folder is not this one okay this public folder which on which we are storing file is inside storage app and public this is the laravel way of doing these things so let's just go to config file and the file system you can see the default file system is local and if you go to disk and the local disk is having root of storage path app so storage path is here 
and app is here inside app we are going to store in the public folder and if you want to give another name so public slash let's say image you can do all these things okay so I'm going to use it on this public folder and you can see now this public folder is just having this git ignore file and it doesn't matter so let's go and edit anyone again and choose a file same thing once more and submit and yes that's good and now you can see we have this file with random name which is very important we don't have to give any name to our file and this is very important thing but if you like to have the name of the file you can do that thing so to get the original name of a file you can just search for the upload file and inside this you can see we have two files but let's just go to http foundation file slash upload file dot php and here you can get the various functions to uh, get various things just like this get client original name copy just for a minute and here I will say dollar request arrow image arrow that function and I'm going to return that thing save that go back and let's just choose a file once more and go back submit and yes you can see we have the exact original file name so this is good if you want that you can use but I'm suggesting you for the random name because we have to store that name we doesn't have to do anything with the name but if you require you can use that and if you go here you can see we have many things get client uh, original extension you can get extension mime type various things are here you can get that thing so we have saved this file and we have after saving the file we have to save the information of that file or actually the information of image in our post table so we have this thing and after that because here we are initializing the post and now I have to say post arrow image is equal to now let's get that name so I will say image uh, name is equal to this let's just first see what name we are getting so again I have choose that file submit and this time we are getting name that random name given by the level plus that public slash okay so that doesn't affect our system because we are using Laravel so that is very cool so let's just see how we can do that thing so instead of that name we are going to use the full path actually the public slash random name dot file extension so I will say image name okay and that's it image name is here we are getting this image and we have to require the image so image arrow uh, I will say require required okay so required that's okay and let's just go once more and refresh that page and I will submit it and I'm getting the image field is required yeah that's good very nice let's just choose the file and submit it and yes it's submitted that means no error and here we have file that means the image and now what I will do let's just open SQL Pro and here the database and here on the posts table you can see we have this name of the image okay that's very important thing we are getting the image for the first blog and let's see how we can echo out that image where we are we want okay this is the edit file so I have to go let's just close this one and this one also resources views not admin user post dot blade and here you can see we are giving the BG image that means background image as that original path of the current file that is the hard-coded one but we want something else 
what we want we want this arrow is storage and the storage is local arrow URL and the after the URL we are going to echo out the image path we have on our database so I will say here dollar post arrow image okay so these are the thing let's see let's go refresh this page and it's now giving some kind of error storage not found okay so the problem is we have to specify the disk so I have to say disk and here this will not come as a this so remember to have this s capital you don't have to write small s so you have to use capital s go back refresh and everything is good but we are not getting exactly the image we want you know why because we have to link this storage public folder to our this public for that let's open that terminal firstly close the server and I have to say PHP artisan storage colon link hit enter and it's just linked now your storage folder to your public folder and now when you go to this public folder you can see you have this storage folder as a shortcut of this storage so let's go refresh and oops we have not started the server okay let's go refresh and yes you can see we have the image correctly placed here and you can have any kind of image anywhere let's do one thing for any other post for the tenth post so I have tenth post here choose a file let's choose the same file because I have only one file submit it go to first and refresh and yes we have that same thing here but we have to do same thing exactly same thing for the create part it's not difficult so let's just close that even close that and copy these things from here go to storage and here type this and now we want our image oops now we want our image to be required and if we have image we have to say this thing that means yeah upload that image data to the database let's just create a new file so this title is for file upload file upload and I will say file upload and yeah I want to choose a file choose that file publish it tag is good category is good this is very nice because we have uploaded the file okay and here I will say bit fumes that should be bold that should be heading that should be at the center and that's it okay save this and <laughs> we are getting error undefined variable so let's see what's the problem maybe it's not going here inside this file so let's just open resources views admin and post dot plate oh you know why we have not included that form in type okay in type form oops multi part slash form slash dash data go refresh and that should be everything is gone this is for file upload so file upload and that should be file dash upload yeah I want to upload file fun publish it tag and I have copied that thing last time so I will paste everything here that should be at the center okay submit it and yes that's good go refresh 
yeah this is for file upload and great very nice so we will meet in the next episode if you have any doubt please feel free to comment me don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram you can support me on patreon.com also we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye